Hello friends, in this video we will be studying about Mar tempering and Oz tempering. I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. Let us start. Both the process Mar tempering and Oz tempering have been developed to avoid the stresses which are developed during the process of quenching that is during hardening heat treatment. So what happens in both these process is that we are quenching the material to just above MS or martensitic start transformation. There we are trying to make the entire material homogeneous. In an earlier video where we were studying about hardening, we saw that we get two cooling curves that means the temperature of the material internal and external there are two different cooling rates because of these two different cooling rate when the material forms martensite it is unstable in the sense that it will have lot of distortion cracking and it is not homogeneous to make the material entirely homogeneous we have to be just above the martensitic start transformation make sure that internal and external surface is homogeneous it is same throughout and then we can carry out the hardening heat treatment let us quickly go over what happens during both these heat treatments. So in case of Mar tempering, we are cooling the material rapidly just above MS or martensitic start transformation. Then we are holding the material there so that the entire material is homogeneous. Then we are cooling the material to form martensite. Then after that we are carrying out tempering heat treatment. In case of Oz tempering, what we are doing is we are heating the material again above martensitic start transformation but there from there we are holding the material and we are transforming the material into bainite after it has formed bainite we are cooling the material to the room temperature so in both these heat treatment there is no non homogeneity in the material the material before forming is only homogeneous it is same throughout and then we are doing either forming martensite or we are forming bainite. This is the cooling curve for Mar tempering. So we can see that we are just cooling the material above the martensitic start transformation. We are holding there at that temperature so that the entire material, the surface and the center is homogeneous. Then we are carrying out air cooling and forming the martensitic structure and the resulting martensite is having minimum stresses. Here the cooling cycle of of tempering is shown again we can see that it is just cool just above the martensitic strat transformation and from there it is transforming into bainite it is being held at that temperature so that it can form bainite it is formed bainite and from there it is cooled in air so austenite is completely transformed to bainite then it is air cooled the advantage is that it has greater ductility and toughness so this was a short video on mar tempering and os tempering and why we carry out mar tempering and nose tempering to get rid of the internal stresses which are formed during hardening. I hope you understood the concept. Thanks for watching. All the best.